this is the aftermath in Howland Bamboo. So I just overheard them say, so we are delayed again. I just washed all of this by hand. Let's check out the hair. I know he was about to do that. Let's check out the hair staff. Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are heading on a trip, myself and my son. We're going on a trip. He just graduated and why not celebrate him? Oh, we're getting ready. Um, place of his choice. Or maybe not. <laughs> but, you know, we all appreciate going, traveling. My son just wants to travel. That's it. Wherever he's going, as long as he's traveling, he is decent. He's good. All right, so we're heading out because I have to go to the pharmacy to pick up some medication that I'm thinking I'm just going to drop by my friend's house and pick it up when I'm coming. When I get back, I'll pick it up from her. But I have to get into the pharmacy by 9 o'clock, and it's almost 9 o'clock. So let me get Alex. Come on, Alex. So, yeah, so we have a little bit, like, two hours to get there, and I think I have to make one more stop. I'm gonna make one more stop um, at the hair shop because, but that's if it's open. I don't even know if it's open because I wanted to get some stuff for the hair. But um, tell me, tell me how, tell me how my thirty-five dollar wig is bowling. Thirty-five dollars, y'all. I did. I can't do no baby hairs, and I didn't want to cut it, so I'm gonna have my sister cut it for me, and you know, just make the front nice. She knows how to do all that stuff. I don't know. I'll be knowing how to do all that so we're about to leave right now and um hopefully it doesn't rain because it looks like it's about to rain so hopefully it really doesn't rain and we can get to get there on time and get going all right guys i catch up on i catch up with you guys in just a moment to St. Mary um, yeah I'm on my way to St. Mary to the funeral we were supposed to be on a bus this morning but when the bus came it was full so we had to drive which I didn't want to do but I'm driving so I'll catch up with you guys when I start seeing more things okay. so guys look at this I just washed all of this by hand I got some more over here. So I'm, all, I'm basically done. I got a little bit over there, so <laughs> I have to wash out the the um the garage when I'm done because I done messed it up. So yeah, I got clothes pin on me. So yeah, yeah. Tell 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 me you move back to Jamaica without telling me you move back to Jamaica. So yeah. That's what's going on right now and I'm about to put out the rest of them right now these birds lost their babies their nest was in there and it got battered by the storm so and then there's this one I don't know it's been walking around for like the last 10 minutes just chilling walking around But that other nest was right there for two other birds. The two I just showed you. I don't know. This one just seems to be very chill. It's a wild bird. But it seems to be very chill over here. I don't know if it's a boy or girl. Trying to find food or maybe lost his nest or something. I don't know. Doesn't seem to be able to fly far. It flies, but it's been doing more walking, a short distance flying. 
Oh yeah. So yeah, this first just chilling. See, it's a little confused. Oh, I think I have some signal. I have some signal. We're here in the supermarket in Black River and we're picking up a few little items just so that we can um, take with us back home. So, let me show you guys what we got. Hey, Alex, let's check out the hair. I know he was about to do that. Let's check out the hairstyle courtesy of his auntie. <laughs> so. So now we have um, little snacks. There's not much. There's not much in the supermarket because it's like two days after the hurricane. So Alex kind of likes search island milk. So we're gonna get those um, tea biscuit, monster milk. These are cinnamon rolls and donuts. Malta in the can. Yeah. And some Shirley biscuit over in the corner there. So, and baby wipes because we need those for tomorrow because it's hot. You know what I'm saying? It would be much more easier for you to just pick up a bottle of water. So, Alex, what's your thought on Jamaica thus far? Well, I'm just like on the street. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> I care what you. <laughs> Go. Don't be so many trees went down, so many lines went down, and we can't get no power, no power, no internet, no phone connection, no nothing. So we have to cut and craft or turn hand make fun. You know? We gotta, we gotta do what you have to do. But, but so far we're managing. Yeah. And we're gonna figure out what to do with you tomorrow. So. Yeah. Let me see the fit. 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 Milo. The crunchy one. Yeah. You have the gold spoon and the... Big pack and small pack. So we're here, we're in Holland Bamboo and the bamboo is like messed up after the hurricane. Um yeah, right now we're in traffic. I'm not even sure what's going on, but I hear okay, there's a car trying to come through. So oh shut up. So they're letting through one side of the traffic. I'm not sure what's happening, but anyways, um, the bamboo is demolished. So I want to have you guys look at some of what is left. This is Holland bamboo in um, Saint Elizabeth. So check out what's happening. Go we'll through it. I think probably went once. Yeah. We With everything in the road, we were good. So guys, 
We're down here in Jamaica and um, we're, we had to come to Santa Cruz, all the way to Santa Cruz to make a phone call. <clears throat> and you barely can get anywhere. But anyways, I managed to check in online and downloaded my boarding pass. So I should be good to go tomorrow. And I ended up having to call JetBlue. So right now my phone bill is probably extremely high right now. but. You know what we gotta do to do because it was just a hurricane and um you see we have to do the things of the past so that's what we're doing so we're just waiting we're gonna head back home because the flight is tomorrow afternoon but we wanted to go down to montego bay to see if there's any beach that's open at least in the morning we could go there spend an hour in the beach and head on to the airport if i have to change in the airport bathroom that's what i'm gonna do but i need some water I need some seawater so we're about to head to the house to just you know sleep for a couple hours we're probably gonna leave here like 5 a.m just so that we can be at the beach when it opens we don't know we're gonna change our clothes but we'll figure it out when we get there so that's what's up right now so yeah it's a sad situation um, with this hurricane. It's very sad. We were, we all got caught up in it. Um, still no power. It's day three. Still no power. No phone. No Wi-Fi. No nothing. So we are literally all stuck on an island with limited resources. It's a sad situation, but I think they're working on it. They're clearing roads and stuff. You would have seen in the video you would see um the holland bamboo and all of that how you know how bad the damage is it's really bad that hurricane really damaged many many areas in this country but we, i guess they just have to pick up the pieces and move forward but it's gonna take a time it's gonna take a while i don't know how long people will be out of power in certain areas but it might be a while it might be a while but we hanging in there i'll record again um tomorrow or when we're about to leave the house because you know like i said really sad situation but we're we're handling it all right guys um i guess i'll see you in the next clip it's the morning of travel. We are heading right. to go Bay. It rained last night. Yeah, so Alex is over here taping up, duct taping um his favorite thing from Jamaica, which is Serge Allen milk. Don't ask me how. Don't ask me how, but that's his fave. So, um, yeah, we're getting ready. Getting ready at some point. Mm -hmm. Put the stuff in the car. And there was something else I was gonna do right here, and I, I'm forgetting what it is already. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, I'll catch up with you guys. Hmm? The hair is I'll catch up with you guys um, when we're on our way. So, sister just went to buy something in the Fontana Pharmacy. So, we're about to head over to the airport. Alright, can I just go to the airport? I'm done, Carl. No, I can't get through the guy. You can't get him? And it's saying calling, so I probably don't have no phone. Oh. No, no, you can't call it. So. Probably not on WhatsApp. What number? Oh, me again. We're here at the airport. The airport is full. When I tell you the airport is full, it's an understatement. Like, there's so many people here. It's packed. I guess because of um, canceled flights and delays and stuff like that there's so many people in here but um we already checked in we already have our bags um tagged but i guess we still 
have to go up in the line to drop the bag. Because we haven't. Um... Oh, I think I know where we're going. We're going straight up. We're going straight up. So we have to, yeah, up there. So we have to um, be in a line now because we already checked in. We already tagged our bags. So we just need to um, drop our bags. Pray and hope that it reach where we're going. Because there's so many people out there. But um, as soon as I get inside, then I'll let you guys know. Well, we have self-service here. But my grandmother doesn't have self-service, so I can't even call her. Um, yeah, I just hope that, you know, everything works out. All right, guys, so I'll see you in a little bit. What's going on outside? Chaos. Well, yeah, true. Chaos raining down on Santos International Airport. It's chaotic. I'm holding up juicy yeah, yeah, big pets right now. So. When I tell you it's chaotic, believe me. Right now my flight should be leaving at 2 or 4. I don't even know where my line is. So I just overheard them say, as soon as they finish with Frontier passengers, then they're gonna board JetBlue. So we are delayed again. So we're still delayed. What are they going around with the dog? She can't even get through with the doggy. It's chaotic in here. <laughs> Getting it together. I have my pack in. Have some water. And then I'm gonna go back over there. I was super hungry. A patty will do it. And I had to buy the patty in here. I'm supposed to buy it in here because they have generators. So they're refrigerator. What are they saying over there? Their refrigerators are working. What airline is she calling? They don't said about a passport. Uh, I said I'm a And We're all still out here, so I get back to you guys as soon as we hear something better. It's crazy out here. So it's right to 10 to 11, going down to 2:15, and we're still here. Tired, tired, tired. It's exhausting, like. They're just doing um, pre-boarding for people with disabilities. So that's who's moving through. Now we're at, we're at group B, so um, we're gonna go in shortly. But I tell you, I kid you not. It's horrible. It's horrible. And it's not like we were late, we got here on we got here early, we got here before the time. And it took us so long to get, four hours, four and a half hours, to get to the back of the building, from the front. Crazy, but it was an experience. I think my son is um, enjoying the experience. He's never had this kind of experience before. Overall, the hurricane and everything he's never had it. So, you know, I think he's kind of liking the experience. So. But he's exhausted. <laughs> he's exhausted at this point. So uh, we're just literally just waiting to board. Um, that's it. And once I get in the aircraft, then I will. I will probably close off this Jamaica Jamaica vlog because. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you. I couldn't even call nobody. So if you're seeing this video and you didn't know I was here, yeah, I was here. Ain't got no phone, ain't got no service, ain't got nothing. So I guess I'll see you guys another time. But that's what's up right now.
is over 15. <laughs> Guys, we are here finally. We are here waiting on our bags. I'm down the carousel. Alex is right here. <laughs> He's that tired. Phone's <laughs> dead. I don't know what to do. Can't record. Camera is at home. I was just looking out for our bags. <laughs> Oh, 